hey guys welcome back with another video and the most important topic in linux which is file and directory permissions so this is the one of the topic where people are facing issues to giving the permissions and how to check the permissions so i'm going to break it down in the simple and easier way so that you can understand better so without wasting more time let's deep dive into the video what is permission the first thing that you have to understand about we are talking about the files and directory when it's come to the files and directory means who will able to access the file and permissions are related like a set of rules that you have to set up here we have three types of permission that you can give to any users which is read means user can read the content of the file and then if the user has the right permission means user can write or edit the content and if user has executable permission which means user can run the file basically related to the programs and ex executable file these are the permission that you can assign to any users and for applying these permission you have to understand about the group sets which is related to the permissions so in linux we have three types of group set which is honor group and others honor means who created the file the honor of that particular file and groups means the honors group suppose if you are assigning any permission read write execute permission to the group then all the members which is belongs to that particular group will get the same permission so you don't have to assign any particular user you can simply assign to the group which is uh, honors group as a default and there is other which means which is not belongs to the group so again we have three group sets which basically can get read write executable permission and uh, read write executable you cannot change the notation which is r is uh, representing the read w for write and x for executable let's see how to check the permission for any files and directory for checking the permissions and the honor information you have to simply type ls that we are using it for listing down the content then simply type minus l and hit enter pretty much you are confusing with this left side and for understanding about this let's break it down in simple form so suppose this is our this is our folder which was showing up in ls command so if you see the first character this is a 10 character showing up and if you see the first character which is a d if it is showing up d it means it is a directory and if it's showing up the hyphen or dash it means the file then there is a permission started and you see the rwx which is related to the honors permission and in our case honor is interjit which is also showing up in above and then it is a group which is rwx and there is others so honor and group has a permission read write execute permission and for others other can only read and execute the file so let's take another example and the first character is showing up the file and honor has only read and write permission and if it's showing up dash in the permission it means there is no permission it is zero and for same for group read write permission and for other user can only read the content of this particular file so if you see above this is a honor of the file which is showing up in the sheet and this is the honors group which is showing up in the sheet as default when you are creating any username the group name will shows up as a default i mean it created as a default name that you are setting up for the username so if you don't know how to create a username and how to set up the password each and everything i have already created one video i will share the link below you can watch that video so now we understand about what is permissions and how we can check the permission right now let's see how to change the permission so we have two options for changing the permission one is you can change the ownership of the file and another way you can change the file permission and if you want to change the ownership in this same example config.yaml inderjit is the owner of this file and inderjit which is showing up here it is it is a group so if you want to change the ownership for inderjit to any another like in my case i have harjan user so i'm going to change this inder to harjan and maybe we are going to change this in the jeet group to any another group so let's see i will change to linux and for changing this ownership you have to use chown command chown is for using for changing the ownership so when you type chown and the username that you want to change for permission and then you can type the file name and for same for the groups if you want to change the group you simply type chown then the username then the group name and the file name so let's see how we can change it Alright, so we are going to change the ownership of this config.yml file. So I'm going to change this in the J to Harjan. For that, you have to use sudo chown command and then you have to type the username and make sure it should be a valid username. If it is not existed, then you have to create first. So you have to type sudo chown and username and type the file name. In my case, I'm typing config.yml 
when you hit enter it will ask for the password let me put the password now let's see if it is changed all right we change this ownership to harjan and harjan has read and write permission now if you want to change this group also let's simply type sudo and type the charm command type harjan type colon and type the group and type the file name now type ls and hyphen l now you can see this is how you can use a charm command but if you want to change the permission like uh, if you want to change the read write executable permission how we can do that and for that you have to understand about the numbering system in linux this is reserved number you have to remember this thing i cannot give you any like a rocket sign that you have to do this thing for remembering just remember this thing it's simple so for read it is taking a four number and if it is a write permission it is a two and if it is a executable it is a one so let's take a same example with config.yml file honor has a read write permission and group also same permission and other has only the read permission for reading up the content and if you just see on the left side read has four write has two and x means executable permission is one it is a reserved number and if you just plus this number right read and write if you just add this number it will be a six six four this is a basically numbering basically you have to understand that and if you want to give the executable if you want to give the honor and group the executable permission what will be the number you can pause this video for five seconds and you can comment below what will be the number so the number will be 774 and for changing the file permissions you have to use ch mode now previously we used chown command now we have to use ch mode let's see example so if you see here the config.yml file has read write read write and read permission I want to give the executable permission for honor and group. Now simply type chmode 774 and type the file name simply. This is giving us error. You have to use a sudo for running this command as a privileges mode. So when you type ls l, you can see the honor and group has read write executable permission. And if you see the color has been changed, why? because owner can execute this file so this is how you can do the permission and don't worry i will give you the one tool that can help you to calculate the numbering system in the end of this video so do not skip this video but there is another ways also like you can give with the another way with the help of group sets also so let's discuss about that now i'm taking example with the folder so in here right now permission is 775 and if you want to give the permission without the numbering system like suppose you want to remove the executable permission from this here so the normal answer is 664 664 right because you will going to remove the permission but how we are going to do that without the numbering system so we have a group set in permission and you can give the permission with the help of group sets so like you just have to remember g u g o u for honor g for group and o for others if you want to remove the executable permission from this folder right it will be normal answer is 664 but now if you want to give the permission without the numbering system this is how you can do that suppose this was a permission and you want to give you want to remove the executable permission so you have to use a ch mode u minus x g minus x and o minus x and then the folder name and even you can simply type minus x it will remove from everywhere so let's see how we can do that so now if you see the folder currently has this permission which has executable permission if you just simply type ch mode then simply type u for honor minus x we are removing the executable permission g for group removing the executable permission and you have to use o for other user now you have to type the folder name and see let's see now you can see the executable permission has been removed this is how you can do without the numbering system and if you want to add any permission you can use a plus sign which is also sometimes is useful like suppose if you want to give the executable permission for each and every user for that you simply type plus sign and type the x for permission giving the executable permission i'm giving the folder name again now you can see the executable permission has been added for each and every group set this is how you can give the permission with the help of group sets in linux and 
most of the time people are confused with the numbering system and i found one tool that you can use it for permissions so if you just go on google simply type ch mode calculator and click on the first link which is i can give you the link also here suppose if you want to give the honors permission read write execute permission and for group suppose you want to give read write executable permission and for public or other user you want just want to give the read permission this is a number that you can use it simply type let me type here i just copy this number and uh, i type ch mode i'm using a sudo first then i'm just pasting this number and typing the file name that i want to give so if i just type ls command now permission has been changed this tool will help you in the numbering system if you are beginner but if you want to do by yourself you have to understand about the concept so if you know about the concept you can easily give the permission and protect your files from the unauthorized access so if this video is useful please like and share it with your friends and comment below if you have any doubt